Hello, and welcome to Medieval Dynasty. Well, it's now winter, so I better put my furs on, otherwise I'll go out there and start to freeze to death. I don't think I want to be putting a straw hat on. That's for certain. <laughs> That's not going to do me much good. So, just to double check, actually, 85%. Right, yep, that'll do. Um. Okay, so he wants to wander out there, well... I think it's a bit too early to start because it's what time is it actually so we we've, we've got up at about seven in the morning uh the horses all the rest of the animals they're not going to get up for at least, at least another hour just that curiosity yep nope they've got no incentive to get up for at least another hour Fair enough, okay, it's alright for some. So yeah, so we've got to have fun in this lovely weather. Uh, speaking of which, there's probably no point, well I suppose we could leave one person in the field, so I just need to double check that. If we go to farming, barn, right, so there's only, there's only Damrick or ourself who's working in the field. That's to basically plant well, just carrots, that's all we can plant this season. There's still some fertiliser to put in, but there'll be these carrots going in at some point. Because now that we've got these big 16 by 16 fields, I may as well pretty much grow everything. Um, the other two can just work in the barn there. But I must admit, there's, there's like a lot of things to uh, for them to do in here. We, we've just got so many things in here, it's just crazy. If I have a look at the storage, I'm just getting out of the wind because it's just so, you can hear the well. I mean, I can hear all of the you know the heavy uh, wind. Now, let me have a look at the resource storage. Doesn't matter which one we pick because it's all linked. There's no way to filter it, unfortunately. But I mean, we've got wow. There's one thousand five hundred forty-four flax that they've still there. Uh, to go through 1,844 manure 184 oats 209 rot so that's just a they're the sort of things that they need to basically do in this particular barn here I'm wondering if I've got enough people given the amounts <laughs> I was thinking it might not be enough anywho well our little man enjoys himself out here I mean I wonder who's going to build a snowman. Who knows? The plan is... Well, I was actually going to build a, an actual sheep fold. Because, I mean, we can actually start looking after... I'm trying to find it. It's, in, it's under technology, isn't it? So, we've got enough farming technology now that we can, we can have uh, sheep as well as cows. But the trouble is... You, I don't think you can see much in this particular weather anyway. Because the, the plan was to to start expanding over there and to, to start building the animal pens or at least to start moving them. Because basically I want people living in a much bigger house and I want the actual animal pens next to them so we'll have this nice little tidy area where all the animals are kept. Except for the horses back, back there. They're kept there because if you go out for a ride and then you go to bed, well yeah that the horse is going to go back to its um its stable anyway so rather than leave the horses over there and me have to keep coming over here like every day if i wanted to go somewhere with a horse it would make me to me it makes more sense to leave them over there but yeah the only well actually i suppose it's not too bad i suppose i can i can at least try and line it up with that because i mean there's no roads down this side and that can I can see the road there. I was a bit concerned. I thought I wouldn't be able to see anything because it's winter time, but no, I can't actually. So, uh, that's Alruna there. So she lives over there. I'm assuming she was having a chat with somebody over there. But this is where Alruna lives now. So I literally just ran into the wall there. But she lives there and she's working over there as a seamstress. So what I was thinking is basically expanding the village, adding more people. So if I basically build a sheep fold here, it's next to here, I can fence it off, make it look tidier. 
And then what I can do is I can go out and hire somebody to look after the sheep. And I could do the same with, you know, like cows and all the other animals that we've got there. Because there's two animal breeders over there living in pretty lousy houses, to be honest. And I really need to get them into better houses. Um, and one thing I found out is morale can tank. You can get events and the, the morale just seriously tanks. And there's always the risk of somebody leaving if the morale is too low. So I, I, I do have an incentive. And plus the fact it's also uh, to case of these... These sort of like houses because they're made of wattle they do wear out easier so that's why in part i've got an incentive to build better houses it's less work for me to repair them and look after them good it also makes them more cheerful and less likely to leave so i think that's what i'm going to do is i mean i need to repair a lot of buildings by the looks of it uh, probably not as many as usual because most of these are now getting turned over into stone or at least some of the newer buildings there are the tier two ones so they've got uh sort of like wooden walls rather than uh, plus the tile roofs rather than the the actual uh, you know straw roofs and wattle walls so i'm gonna looks like i'm gonna have to go around i think that one's the actual yeah that's the one up there so i'll have to go around and repair that one but i also want to do the quests as well because all of the main quests are now done so that's the chapters plus the story quests they're all completed so what I'm starting to do now is I'm, I'm going on a tour of places where there are quests. Basically, the reasoning for that is because it's a, every now and again you'll get somebody who'll ask for something to be done. And you get a lot of points, whether it's, you know, for example, you might get farming technology points back, for example, for completing a quest. And some of them I've seen that will do production technology as well. So that's a quick way. It's a quick win. And I'm, I'm quite keen to get this far... To get the market stall we're not too far off getting a, a mark ii kitchen as soon as i get that i may as well replace the existing one just because it's better walls better um roofing i mean we'll then get access into the the bread for example which i can then start making use of wheat with because i've started uh, actually growing wheat but what i'm really really interested in apart from those market stalls is this here and we're, we're actually not too far off i mean four thousand is where we're at now so yeah, I mean, as long as I keep building things and, you know, doing excavation work, I mean, there's stuff going on in the background because we've got people working like in an excavation shed, for example, in a woodshed. So those sort of things are going on in the background that gets me some experience passively. But I'm building houses, which means I'm getting, you know, XP through that. But if I can get quests, though, that can speed up a lot quicker. I mean, I've I've seen one, I think the last quest I got was about a 120, I think. Although I've gotten a 250 for farming technology if they ask you to chop the trees down, for example. So, quite a lot to do. So I'm going to get started. Well, I think it's about time I bought some sheep. I mean, we've actually built sheep full down here. Now, the only catch is I haven't actually found anybody to look after them uh, I think I ran into an interesting problem of yeah an elderly population I mean I went right the way around the map so I've done most of the actual quests and I've, I've managed to get quite a bit of technology so yeah we're up to 1726 for example on production now so we're doing a bit better but it's the problem is like Alruna for example who's 33 I just noticed Agnes here she's 36 uh, I didn't realise she'd been around for so long, but she hasn't, you know, her her, um, her skill level's quite low. Now, out of curiosity, what is Gundolf? So Gundolf's at three, so he's relatively new. So he, But he's been fishing, you know, all year round, whereas Agnes is doing, uh, gathering like the, the, her, um, the herbs and so on that are out there, the mushrooms and so on. So she's been around for, for quite a while. Yeah, and her survival hasn't really got up that much, I must admit, so that's quite surprising. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I've really got that needed that survival skill. So that could be tricky in comparison to Alruna, who's up to eight on production. So yeah, she's been doing really well, but it's the age gap. Uh, so, I mean, I'm trying to find somebody who's at a similar age, but I'm really struggling. I think the oldest I found was about 23. So I think I can basically see myself having to wait until 
uh, next season because I've, I've been all the way over to Hornica, for example. Some of the quests I haven't done because they're things like, you know, hunting wolves at night, that sort of thing, and I, I just can't be bothered. Uh, I'm more interested in getting the technology points. Either way, it's time we bought some sheep. Now, these little things, they are 700 each. So I'm going to have to... Actually, I wonder if she's got enough money. Hello there. Hello. Whatever you need, I've got it. Yeah, that's not true because I need money. Uh, if I sell you those... Goodbye. That's not enough. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Because I need your sheep. I need to find somebody else. I think there's a herbalist around here. Yeah, there's a herbalist. So I can sell him some of my flax. How are you? My I will find never it. Disappoint. It's good to know. Right, so that's, I think that should be enough. So we're up to 4,264. So yeah, that's enough. Have a good day. Oh, I will. So yeah, I mean, it's the, it's now actually the last day of their uh, winter. So I've, I've been right the way around the map playing dodge with wolves a lot. Okay. That, that sounds like a person actually saying... I wonder if somebody's playing games on me like they were with um, Sambo. That sounds more like a person than an actual real sheep, but never mind. So, <laughs> we're going to get this little female lamb here. I'm going to send her over to the fold. Oh, wow, that's a that's a lot of room I've got for sheep. Righty. I'm going to add this one as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of the floaty bow. So... Yeah, it's going to be tricky, as I say. I can see me now waiting until next season, which, to be honest, isn't that far off because it's midday of the last day anyway. So I need to get back to the our little sheep fold. I need to make sure that these uh, little sheep are fed. And then I think what I'll do is I'll... For the last what's ever left, I think I'll spend... Well, actually, I've got quite a few resources down here. I think I'll spend that in the um, doing some crafting because I've got a lot of food that's going to waste. Uh, I've at least convert that over. I should be able to get some uh, technology points out of, you know, cooking, for example. And I'll get some out of... I think I've still got... Um, not much, oh, that was, oh, that was a lucky find. Yeah, that was a lucky find. So I've got quite a few things I can make. Um, so I've got a lot of sticks, for example, so we can make quicker baskets. I've got a lot of, uh, so like, well, stones so you can make those sort of tools. All sorts of sort of things that we can make and try to basically boost this skill here while we're waiting. Uh, although, as I say, I mean, I'm quite pleased really just by doing a bit more uh, chopping down trees because I had to do, I got that um, that quest that asks you to chop down 20 trees, for example, and I've also had to build the actual sheep folds. So there's been a lot of like uh, work that I've done that goes into this specific one. So yeah, 4,200. Only another 800 and we'll be able to build a mine. Well, I got forced into spring. And um, there's a case of run out of time. I was trying to service the uh, the rabbit traps. And then we get this event. So we're just about to start the actual springtime. But I don't really have much choices here because you need a tavern. I know in early access you used to actually get a tavern and you could get bigger taverns now you get kitchens and then you need then you can build a tavern later on but you need a lot of uh, technology points but yeah looks like somebody's got married curious to find out who well in this particular case anyway every, everybody got a 15 uh, point mood boost so that's good so i'm still curious who was it though Hmm. Doesn't specifically say who got married, just somebody got married. Right, okay, well, I'll get these warm clothes off because we don't need them now that we're into the spring. Uh, let's see, what's the bill? Ooh, 6228. I think, I think Damrica here needs a bit of a bit more attention, just down to 64%. Have a good Ooh, day. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to. I mean, I've got a big build here now. Oh, nearly, nearly ran into your little one. Yeah, I was literally in the middle of... I dismantled that one. And I was just about to, to reset this one when I got kicked into spring. Right, so I'm going to grab some 
fix. And then we'll reset that one. But I need to reset the farm as well. Because everybody at the moment's in the actual barn. They're not actually in the fields. Although, having said that, I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if we've got a newcomer as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, Philberta's still there. She's still expecting. Right, okay. In which case, I'm going to... I need to make some changes. I need... <laughs> I've got to go through this laborious process of taking people out of the barn. So I'm going to take Damrica out of the barn, and then I'll put her back in again. Uh, so you're going to be back as a farmer again because there's all of the, the sowing of all the crops again and I'll do the same with I'm trying to think is it I wonder if I should put Philiberta in because it's whoever's got the lower setting yeah so she's on five so I'll, I'll leave Edmund serving there as a barn worker because I still need somebody to, to sort out the flax. Although I haven't said that, I might have to do that anyway. Because I need a lot of money. Right, so as far as the barn goes, we've now got two people going to work the field. So there's, there's a lot to get done in spring. But there's a lot of things in here that need to be processed. Um... Because I don't think they got round to finishing the flax. Yeah, there's still another 6.44. So I'm going to grab that. Although I haven't said that. But I think what I'll do is I'll put 2.56 of it back. Because that's enough to do the field. And I'll process that. Now, I wonder if there's any... If there's any damage around that I'll... There's usually some damage each season. So there's a bit of damage there. Uh, the storages usually get damaged. Yeah, that's not unusual because these are tier ones. Nothing on there. So it looks like there's at least one house needs needs doing. So there's not a great deal to do. But one thing actually just crossed my mind was that I mean I'm struggling to find somebody who can shack up with Alruna. But what I might do actually is pair up with Namiya because Namiya is 33. Now, although he's the blacksmith, he does have a tier three in farming. So there's no reason why he can't look after the, the actual sheep. In which case, I then just need to find an actual, um, another blacksmith, to be honest. That might be easier. So I can, I can go on another tour of the map. I mean, I've got to do the chores and what have you, but I can do another tour. It's particularly where the quests are, because I'm very keen on getting any production technology or uh, building technology. Because not too far off 5,000 or 2,500 there. So that, that's an opportunity, I must admit. Yeah, that is a that is an opportunity. I mean, when it comes to the couple, I'm thinking it's either... Just because it, hmm, because those are already a couple, Edmund and Philip Burr. I wonder if it's Alruna then. Oh, Alruna's on our own, so I mean, I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> I'm just going to scratch my head trying to think who the couple are, to be honest, but never mind. I've got chores to do, and then we're going to do a tour of the map. Oh, actually, have we got any more animals? That's a thought. Ah, finally! Oh, excellent. So we've finally got some chickens. Oh, and we've got a foal as well. We've got a little filly. Now, the sheep are, the sheep are just growing up, so that's fair dues. That's not, not untoward. So we've still got two piglets. But, oh, that's a relief now. We've got more chickens. So the good thing is, I mean, we've got two hens. Oh, they'll, they'll become two hens. That's brilliant. That. That's exactly what I needed. Go and have a look and see if we've uh, what kind of colour horse we've got. Because it could have gotten any colour. Since yeah, I suppose that's not too too much of a surprise because it's a bit of a because th those two are pretty much the same. How come those two are are asleep and you're up? 
Have you have you forgot the rules? You normally get up at eight o'clock in the morning and go to bed at at six. Just just so you know. Because <laughs> what I'm thinking of doing is actually I might build a uh, another stable on the side. Because I can see a bit of a lucrative trade here running a running your own stud farm. Hmm. Right. Chores first. Well, well, quite a ways through summer, believe it or not. Uh, I've been going around the map doing various quests because uh, that was the plan. I've, I'm, I'm actually into, uh, you know, quite well into summer. First day, I've just been focusing on quests. That's what I'm going to be doing going forward because I'm really keen to get uh, the actual technology points more than anything. So we've managed to get our sheepfold built. Uh, so we've got that sorted out. But yeah, it's taken quite a while, I must admit. So I'm, I'm actually at the point now where I've actually got four horses, believe it or not. Uh, that They've gone quite well. I mean, I'm still waiting for the sheep to mature, so they're not going to have any uh, lambs yet themselves. But yeah, we've now got a fourth horse. Now, I must admit, I saw him. I thought, oh, wow, that's cool. He's a, like a shade of grey, but he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's, I know he's the same colour as you two. Because if you go up close, you'll see he's a... It's actually brown, it's just the shadows give them out a different colour. But anyway, we're now down to only two people working in the field because Philiberta's had her baby. Now, interestingly enough, uh, what was he called? Wittermere. So he's actually level six in farming, which is impressive, I must admit. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, now, I just need to cheer up Damrak while I'm here. Hail, friend. Uh, I've got something for you. There you go. There's a jewellery box for you. Okay, so that's... Mm, we're up to 70%, but it's still going down as her affection. Okay, she doesn't want anything more anyway. But, uh, right, so... That's that sorted out. Uh, I reckon it doesn't really get up to much, I must have it. Good day. Ooh, you're getting very posh, mind. Oh, thanks for the stick, by the Farewell. way. He's, he's extremely, like, well-mannered and pleasant, I must admit. As he gets older, he'll we'll start to be able to do, like, quests for him. Right, let's reset those. So, yeah, we're down to only two people in the field, so we'll have to see how they cope. Because at the minute, they're mostly just focusing on getting the flax sorted out. I noticed they missed a, a bit of a section out. Uh, so we didn't get all of the flax growing in the spring, or planted, I must admit. But we're now at the point where the sheep are ready. Um, so I've, I've bought some sheep, and I've now got somebody to look after them, because what I've ended up doing is I've paired up Namiya with Alruna. So Alruna's the seamstress, so she's working on that far right corner. I've taken Namiya off the actual blacksmith uh, job. He's now actually looking after the sheep, because those two are a similar age. And then what I've done is I've actually gone out and recruited two uh, two young people to work in the blacksmith. So it means we'll get more tools and I'll be able to get better production out of uh, out of those two than just Namiya. And the one thing I've noticed, I mean, Aruna's just she's really going fast through the uh, production skill. Uh, she's about I think she's about close to level nine and a half, which is nuts. Yeah, I mean she's really really going quickly through that so what I'm tempted to do I mean these two they live over here and they're working in the blacksmith shop there I'm tempted that when she hits level 10 I'll take her off that job because unfortunately even though it's a tier 2 I did I did a check uh, so if we're going to production yeah if you go to tier 2 it only allows one person so I'm, I, I think what I'll do is when she maxes out at level 10 I'll take her off that job and put her in here and I'll move one of them over to there so they'll start to get uh, production skill a much, you know, a lot quicker than they seem to in here and then when that person maxes out I'll swap them out for Alruna so I'll ruin it and go back there and I'll, I'll be left with like two people who are under uh, maxed out and they'll be able to do a lot better as blacksmiths I might have a look at other specific jobs as well and just keep swapping around because that I don't know what it is about that particular building but they're doing extremely well compared to others 
I mean, try to think who else is there. So there's the woodworker. I'm trying to remember who else there was doing the woodworker's job. So there's a seamster. There's a bar Actually, I'll probably tell from here, can't I? Ah, Gustar, well, that's it, because it says she's a craftsman. So she's up to level six, which isn't too bad, but you think Alruna was somebody I got quite much later, so I'd be tempted to do worse, you know, just swap people around to, to, so they can do things a lot quicker. But anyway, I've got my little picket fence up there. I'm just going to double check and make sure that the sheep haven't managed to escape. Oh, they're over there. So they're sitting in the, in the shed. So we've actually got a gate, which I quite like, I must admit, but... It, Oh wow, this this was pretty expensive because these are all made out of um planks. Uh, I should have probably gone from a for like just a stick fence, but yeah. It seems to have kept those two inside, so I think that's the plan is to repeat that for other animal uh, breeders. Uh what I'm thinking of doing is the next one's gonna be for cows. Uh so I mean we're up to Let's see, on farming, almost at four and a half thousand. So I can I can do the cow shed, for example. And uh, we're up to almost two thousand two hundred for, for production. So I'm not even that far off a market store. Building almost at four and a half thousand. So not that far off a mine. So I think what I might do is probably build a cow shed over here. Knock down the these two buildings. I'll temporarily move them over there. I'm not going to do a tier two one yet. I, I do need to build a tier two uh, food storage, but I think I'll do some temporary building over there just so I can fit the cow shed in. Uh, and then I'll have to find out what we do about that because I've got I've got already people over here, for example, looking after animals, but it is aging population problem. I mean, another thing I'm thinking of is I really like to be able to sell those horses off, which means another stable, which means somebody else to look after those horses and I mean yeah what I could do potentially for example is I could pull one of these two so I mean Agnes who's 36 she's not too far off well she is I think that's probably about the youngest I'll ever find out there anyways a 28 year old so I might pair her up then with Gundolf because the others aren't too far behind but it's a real struggle finding um, elderly people out there, should we say? It's, it's proving a lot more difficult than I thought. I mean, I could pair one of them up with Siegfried, for example. Uh, down here, actually, that might be a better strategy if I pair Siegfried up with with Agnes, because he's thirty-three versus she's thirty-eight. So there's only a three-year gap between them. So there's no there's no issue. I see if, like, for example, I bring uh, Agnes over to this side, and yeah, he's having to work over there. That's not that big of a deal. He's not too far away. So yeah, there's, there's, I can see me having to juggle quite a few people around here. Um, definitely, definitely a lot to do still. Yes, indeed, pig, indeed. But I've got tons of room for more animals, and I've noticed this, they're not keeping up with the, the demand for the animal feed. I'm, I can see me having to get more people into the barn. I might even end up having to build more barns because I've only got enough room for one more person. But yeah, about halfway through summer and there's, well, a lot to do. But that's all for another episode.